Good morning, this is Ron Lowe coming with you, um, going over the uh, chapter on Colossians and Gorman's, um, and Gorman's book, The Apostle of the Lord Crucified. Overall, it's a really good book. Uh, there's uh, a lot of great content in here, probably more than I can discuss it over the next five minutes or so, but, but uh, there is uh, one uh, thing that he, he mentions, and, I, and I'll just talk about it briefly here in the beginning. He he does go over the uh, the the questioning of the authorship of Paul, and where they draw uh, the, theologians draw their their uh, conclusions um, of why uh, it's speculative that he, even Paul even wrote uh, this letter. Um, I can understand where they draw those conclusions, but I would argue that I'm an inerrantist, and therefore, um, if if the Word of God says that Paul wrote it, I believe that the, that Paul wrote it, and and I'm just going to leave that at that. Uh, uh, just just leave that there. So anyway, Colossians is a an extended com, uh, commentary, basic uh, on Paul's claim that Christ is wisdom and, and also the power of God, and like. Um, was mentioned in Galatians, uh, Colossians is uh, meant to convince the the, the church that uh, Christ is sufficient, that there was no other needs um, for, for um, it's not a work-based salvation, but it is Christ and what he did for us uh, through his, that we, we maintain salvation. That being said, he does, he does talk about the uh, the the fruits um, that we are to to continue growing in knowledge of God that we are to to have good fruit and every good work that uh, we we become strengthened uh, for our suffering and that we always give thanks to the Father and He calls for a a renewal with Christ um, and, and a rejection of the philosophy that was being taught there um, the the area there was really growing in the in the in the time of philosophy it was really taking root in the uh in in the local church there and so Paul had to had to address that and um he warns about following philosophy that is opposed to the message of Christ opposed to the gospel of Christ um and this area was full of greek and roman and jews and there was certainly a a, a rather large you know following of both Jew and Gentile, so this caused concerns, and and uh, as in other books, he had to uh, settle the, the the Gentile position, um, just like he had to uh, with the circumcision uh, before. So um, Paul's continually he he comes and he praises the Colossians, and then he he gives them a he gives them a prayer that they would continue to 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 grow. And the full knowledge of God through the wisdom of Christ Himself, um, he, uh, he Paul continues uh, to have issues with people that were really pushing this this uh, mixture of uh, philosophy and Judaism and Christianity all together, um, and it's very similar to today where people will preach about uh, Jesus is not only. Um, and Jesus is not the way, but he's a way to, to the Heavenly Father. And, and you hear there's uh, famous people, and I won't mention names, but there's famous people around the world, even preachers, that are preaching this. Um, it's a mixed lot of, of uh, a, a way to heaven, if you will. And this really contradicts the, the, the nature uh, of what Jesus did. If, if that was true, then his suffering on the cross would have been in vain. Um, and we not to to take his his uh, his sacrifice in vain, and and uh, so we don't. So Paul was faced with a mix of religions and philosophies that were happening there, and uh, similar to the issues that we have today. Um, and so we look at uh, some of the other main issues uh or main themes that he, we have here is he really focuses on the faith the hope and the love that uh um jesus christ is and uh that we we continually 
giving thanks to the Father for everything we did and that we mature as Christians and and find the wisdom and the full knowledge of God through Christ himself. So it was a great um, lesson. Uh, cannot explain it in five minutes. Very tough, tall order to try to accomplish. But um, I was very um, blessed by reading over this. I just had the one issue about the, the auth- authorship of Paul but uh, other than that, it was a it was overall a very good, a very good uh, chapter. Uh, thank you, and I hope you all have enjoyed your Easter. And God bless.